Hello and well hungry people. So today I'm going to make an oozy cheese, onion and potato pasty. It's absolutely fantastic. You can really make this your own. You can put more veg in there. You can put meat in there if you wanted to. They're great for lunches and they freeze amazingly as well. So you can just whip one out whenever you like, stick it in the oven and there you go. Buzzing, let's do this. Cool, so as I said, I've got potato, cheese, and these caramelized onions. These are the best representation of onions you can get. Here's how I made them. I sliced up onions and added to an oil pan on the lowest heat. Then for extra flavor, I seasoned with salt, white wine vinegar, and brown sugar. I added water to allow it to cook for a long time without burning, then left to stew on the lowest heat for a minimum of one hour. Top up with water if things start catching and burning too much, but after an hour and a half, my onions were sweet, sticky, and jam-like. I finished with butter for extra fanciness. If you haven't tried onion confit before, honestly, you must. Go make some and put it in a burger. You're welcome. So we're starting off by making the filling. I've diced up one medium Maris Piper into very small squares. You need it to be small squares because it's going into the oven raw, so it actually needs to cook in there. I'm then going in with some extra mature cheddar cut into similar sized squares. Get that all mixed up. I'm gonna heavily season that with salt. I'm gonna add in some dried thyme. That really takes it up a level. And finally, just a little half teaspoon of mustard powder. Mustard powder works so well in this, it's actually unbelievable. If you haven't got mustard powder, just use mustard or even horseradish. Horseradish works really well for this. Give it a mix just to make sure that it's all combined evenly. Now I want to talk to you about pastry. Pastry is one of those fantastic things in life. I absolutely love it, but Puff pastry is an absolute nightmare to make. It's not difficult, it just takes a really long time. So I've got store-bought puff pastry. And we're gonna make two pasties out of this. And what you wanna do is get your pastry out and then find the biggest circle that you can that maximizes the amount of pastry that you have with minimal waste. So I've found this pan works perfectly. So just get a bit of flour down on your board, grab up one of your circles. You want to get some egg wash at the ready. And now we're going to build this pasty. So the ultimate expression of onions goes down first. These are absolutely unbelievable. And then get up some of your cheese and potato mix. Like I say, if you wanted to load more veg into this, you absolutely could to make it a little bit healthier. Get some carrot in there, some swede in there. Okay, so here we go. We've got our circle, we've got our filling, and now I'm gonna to talk to you about the shape. So like I said, I tested loads of different shapes, and I found this not only the easiest, but the prettiest. So what you're gonna do, so you fill it, fill it up from the center, and we're gonna, egg wash right around the edges. You'll notice I'm using my finger and that's because I haven't actually got a pastry brush, so just use your finger. Grab up each side and then just pinch in the middle. So I'm gonna twist it so you can see it. So at the end, just work from one end and work your way to the other end. And then once it's in this sort of package, just sort of like make little crimps. So you're going in with your fingers like that. All the way around. When you get to the end, you can just, using a fork, you can just sort of like fork it to keep it all in. And there we go, that is an absolutely beautiful pasty. So that's now ready to go in the oven, but what you can do, just to give it a bit of shine when it's in the oven, get some more of your fingered egg wash and just rub it all over. Right, I am well happy with that, so I'm gonna transfer that 
to a grease-proof paper lined baking tray. That one's done. I'm gonna repeat that for the second one. There we have it, two potato, cheese, and onion pasties ready to go into the oven. Preheated, 160 degrees for half an hour. Put it on a low shelf. See you in half an hour. If like me, you've got leftover pastry, then you can always freeze it and then use it another day, or you could do something with it now. I always remember my nan making jam tarts with her leftover pastry. She used to just line cupcake tins with pastry, fill it with jam, couple of minutes in the oven and it was a delicious little snack. The hottest thing in the world though, so don't eat them straight out of the oven, it's whew, really hot. But I'm gonna freeze this, gonna use it another day. Flipping hell mate, that's just absolutely ridiculous. Look at those, they look unreal. I am pretty gutted to say this though, it gets worse. You're gonna have to let them cool. If you take a bite of one of those now, the whole of the skin on the inside of your mouth is coming off, so give it 20 minutes at least. I know it's hard. It's been about 20 minutes-ish. I've let it cool down, kind of. Still probably molten hot, but I can't wait any longer. This is just about as good as it gets, really. Ha. Oh. Yes. Damn, the onions, the comfy onions are just sensational. The potatoes cooked, cheese is bloody hot and melty. It's just so perfect. Please do this. Have fun with it. That's what I love about this is you can really make it your own. Put your own veg in there. Mix up the herbs a little bit. Put some rosemary in there. Put some parsley in there. Put some oregano in there. Do whatever you want to do. Mix the cheese up. Put some mozzarella in there. Put some smoked cheese in there. Do what you want to do. You can really make this your own. This is proper, proper hearty food. You might think, Jacob, what is that you're holding? I had loads of chilies left over, so I made some hot sauce. I reckon. Bit of that on here. Bob's your uncle. Gonna be interesting watching Maisie make this. See what her origami skills are like. Anyway, thanks so much for watching again. See you next week. The worst part about this is that I hate waiting for it. Half an hour to kill. Hmm. More waiting. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. It really does mean the world to us. As ever, the full list of ingredients for this recipe will be in the box below. Don't forget to check out our Instagram for more exclusive content. Also, if you like the video, please drop us a like and consider subscribing. We post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Come join the Well Hungry family. Thanks again. See you later. See ya! <laughs>